So this is Tim Evans with Crack Eraser. I hope you can see me. Our new logo we changed on our shirt, which we really like. I'm working on this uh, 2017 Ford Escape, and I just wanted to show, I hope you can see this, that this had several, this really took a big hit. Maybe I'd get around on this side, it'll show up better. And so what I had to do is I had to drill each of the legs. It's pretty glary. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. I'm hoping you can. Oh, here, maybe. There we go. There we go. Now you can see it. So, oh, it looks like there's one more coming out of the left there. Right here that I need to put a stop on. Now they get the right light. So you want to get the right light, which is direct on on the legs. If you're looking to see if resin is is going in you look at an angle you put your chin on the glass but if you're looking to drill the tip of the leg you want to look straight on I can see it here in the camera I've got all the other ones and I think this is just with this being down by the defrosters you can see the defrosters are right above it uh, that's what we need to do and we're using the crack eraser exact drill stop call it a method that we've developed and uh, we did another repair for this guy a while ago you can see it up here you can see the impact point you probably won't be able to see it too much it came out good so he's back again which happens so often that they need to come back so we're going to use the uh, single injector and we're gonna you're gonna have to slide around so first we'll adjust it you want to adjust your injector down on the I'd start on the impact point because we can always backfill the legs and then we're gonna add couple drops of resin because we've already loaded this tool once before when you first use your tool you need five or six drops but after that you can do it with a, a couple so try to hold the camera here now I put three in that'll give us a little extra if we lose a little So normally we'd work under a sunshade, but I kind of want to want to film this so you can see it. So I'm going to keep it shaded with my head and the, my hand. So we're going to go drill that last leg and back and fill it last. So I think at this point we'll just see how we can get what we can get going here. It's pretty warm today in Colorado. It's about 50. So it's a good day for doing repairs it's nice and sunny which is typical in Colorado but even on a sorry got a police going by even on a cloudy day there's still enough UV so I'm just looking to see if these legs are all filling and I'm looking at them at angles and I can see that they're all taking resin but the reason I don't go at the tips of the legs and fill where I tap the bullseyes is because I may have to backfill if I have one leg that hasn't filled. It looks like they're filling pretty well for as bad as this was. Once I get close, then I can go and start sliding around and injecting each one of the each one of the impact points. That helps if you slide off and on. That kind of helps it take the resin in there for some reason you want to go to vacuum when you slide off and you may have just a little ring of air on some of the bullseyes that's not uncommon when you're doing this there's really no place for it to go so it kind of wants to hang out in there but we just want to get enough resin in there that we've got those little drill holes pretty well taken care of And that one leg will drill and backfill that I was showing you. You can still see it down here. Hopefully you can. Oh, I gotta get the camera back over here. Sorry about that. So then once I've went and I've went over all these all these places that I've drilled. Sorry, it's a noise, it's a nice day, the Harleys are out and everything but I just have to film this from the outside since I'm doing it by myself. Try to get as much resin in all those legs if we can and then we'll go back on the impact point and we'll fill it. And that one leg, I don't know if you can see it now, we'll have to, it's not taking resin yet, you can barely see it, tip of my finger. So we'll have to drill and backfill that later, but we'll get the rest of this and it may fill as we, 
as we keep injecting it. So that one's kind of going off this side. If it did go, it wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's mainly the ones that would go out from there or down here. These could follow the heat and then they follow the heat and tur turn up. I don't know if you can see my finger. So it looks like all the legs are pretty well full. Let me look at this leg up here. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, when I get an angle, that's full. Sometimes because the legs are flipped, you got to look at an angle from the top to be able to see, you know, if they're taking resin. So, do a little filming for my uh, YouTube channel um, so I can help other people learn how to do this better. That's Whopper. I bet you heard that hit. Yeah, and when it hit... Uh huh. I thought it was one of my bottles of water popping. Oh yeah, huh? I've had that happen. That I, makes us sick. It's really, like, what I, is that? Oh, I said we well, yeah. just got hit. I said, no, nah, that's a water bottle popping. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, no, it wasn't a water bottle popping. So it happened to my wife. She went to Denver to go to IKEA the other day. We're rehabbing one of our rental properties, and and she said, yeah, I, a truck was going slow, and I had to go around it. She said, I heard something, but it hit over in the kind of in the black on the edge like yours did and yeah it was a smaller hit so i'm going to fix it tomorrow but i do a video on it but yeah it's it's, it's good size, i yeah. just put that windshield in a couple days ago when did we do this uh repair for you a while uh, ago a while ago yeah, yeah. and then it looks like there was one down here that we did too for you i can't recall yeah i can tell so yeah i think we're good i'm just taking some extra precautions i'm drilling each and every one of these legs because there's just so much going on with this, and it's right there by the defrosters, and it's close to the edge. So it's all the things that make me, yeah, that you got to, you want to take these precautions. Otherwise, they might go while you're repairing it, or they'll go when you start using the defrosters heavily. But if we put these, we drill right at the tip of the leg and tap a bullseye. If we do that, that usually puts a kibot, yeah. But you definitely have a bad one. This is not. <laughs> this is not your normal. <laughs> now we'll let the sun start curing it. I was shading it with my body, or you could use a sunshade. And then I uh, we'll just want to let that sun rea react to the resin enough to so it gels. So when we pull the tool, it doesn't suck air back in. That's the reason why we have cure under pressure, and that's the reason why I made this tool so little around here, where you can see how that sun just gets right in there and lights it up some of the tools out there are big and they end up covering the chip well that's good for giving you time because it's basically shading it while you're doing the injecting but once you get done and you've got it mostly full maybe 99 percent anyway then you want to be able to have that sun start to react to the resin to start to cure it so you can uh, not have air draw back in when you pull the tool and the way you check that is you'll just go back to vacuum which is the edge of the threads and then you'll just slide the tool we want to look see if we see any black or anything coming out and I don't so that looks good so then it's just a case of getting pit filler and uh, pit filling and filling the, the brake if you don't mind so I'm gonna let you just hold this camera right here just like that on each side yeah that's, per that's perfect so you can kind of see the repair going on in there right like that I'm gonna get some pit filler thank you I appreciate that Just let you do that, and then I can work. Didn't know you were getting get employed too, did you? That's all right. <laughs> I appreciate. It. I try to. There's so many people out there that just aren't sure how to do some of these breaks, and, and this was a good one to show people. And it also helps my competitors too, but that's okay. Enough damage to go around. Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to bring up the industry if I can, and I think if people see my technology. They'll see that it's got a lot of advantages over the other ones, so maybe if someone will switch or if they want to get in the business, they'll do that. So it's all it's all good, I figure, in the long run. So I didn't have enough cure tab to get on there, but I I uh, oh and I probably have you turned up. See, I had you on the tool. We're getting the brake too. Yeah, perfect. I have this little 
tripod thing that I can set up if I remember to do it. I'll kind of hold it, but it's nice to have you helping. So then we're going to take and we're just going to trim off the the the, imp, the drills where I drilled and tapped the bullseyes, and then we're going to buff straight on with the razor blade. This repair is not going to be beautiful, but it should be functional, and it's down on the edge. It should keep him from having to replace the windshield. So that's the object. Yeah, that's what you're after. You've already fixed it because I see you have lane change sensors and stuff. Then you can hold the camera on me a little bit if you want. Okay. Pick it up. So this is Tim Evans with Crack Eraser. You can go to CrackEraser.com for more information. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Killed it. All right. Yeah. Now